Okay. Okay. That's pretty hard. So first of all, Beginning with the 14th century, the barons wore the coronet as a symbol of authority, which they had achieved either through service to their country or by exceptional valor in the, on the field of battle. The coronet was worn only on significant occasions. Consequently, as time passed, it was made from gold or silver and decorated with precious stones. The coronet award thus became the baron's most prized and valuable possession. The coronet award presented tonight is also a symbol of nobility, for it is the highest recognition that Fountain Valley High School bestows upon a student. It has been attained through either outstanding achievement or service or both. Some students have excelled in and are honored in more than one subject. However, a student may win only one coronet award in any given year. To begin our presentation of the coronet awards, the excellence we recognize here tonight is a joint effort by the students, the instructional staff at Fountain Valley High School, and you, the parents. Spanish, Natalie Avazian, <laughs> Emma Fonseca, Amber Lynn Luong, Brandon Tran, Caroline Tran, Emily Tran, Evelyn Tran, Han Tran, Katie Bo. In Japan, the finalists in the areas of area of French are Margarita Markova and Joshua Tao Setian. The finalists in the area Japanese are Andrew Shea and Khan No. And the finalists in the area of Spanish are Allison Nguyen, Roger Nguyen, and Brandon Tran. The Coronet Award winner in the area of French is Margarita Markova. The Coronet Award winner in the area of Japanese is Khan No. And the Coronet Award winner in the area of Spanish is Alison Nguyen. Kenneth Nguyen. 
Brandon Tram, and Emily Tram. The coronet winner in the area of social science is Brandon Tram. His performance in social science is no exception. He gamely earned fives on AP exams in human geography, European history, and US history by junior year, which may be why he was nominated for this very coronet last year as well. Brandon's proudest barren moment came in his first Model United Nations conference, when he represented Vietnam in the UN General Assembly discussing religious persecution. He was nervous before his first speech, but this early success in MUN encouraged him to continue to try new things. Brandon's excellence was recently recognized by both U.S. Representative Michelle Steele and U.S. Senator Dianne Feinstein with a nomination to the United States Military Academy. Brandon will, in fact, continue his studies at the U.S. Military Academy at West Point at the end of next month when he transforms from a civilian to a member of the United States Army. Brandon intends to major in international relations and Chinese as he looks forward to channeling his intelligence, leadership, patriotism, and discipline into a military career. We wish you all the best, Cadet, and congratulate you on this well And Kathleen Nervas. And the Cornet Award winner in the area of instrumental music is Kathleen Nervas. I would like to introduce the honorees in the area of language of arts. Alexander Bennett. Brooke Bonner. Yen Wu. Catherine Chop. Thomas Wood. Caitlin Pham. Hannah Roberts. Audrey Tengen. Anthony Tran, Brandon Tran, Emily Tran, Evelyn Tran, Adam Van Boren, Aaliyah Vanderberg, Katie Vo, Lillian Jensen. To present the awards in the area of language arts are Miss Amy Phelan, Language Arts Department Coordinator, and Mr. Sean Zeebart, Language Arts Instructor. The finalists in the area of Language Arts are Brooke Bonney, Caitlin Doe, Lauren Domingo, Judy Blue, Kate Meister, Roger Nguyen, Brandon Tram, and Emily Tram. The Coronet Award winner in the area of language arts is Kate Meister. For as long as she can remember, Kate has been a reader. From Little Women in elementary through in this fall, where she'll continue her pursuit of a career in anesthesiology at UCLA. Congratulations, Kate.
would like to introduce the honorees in the area of mathematics. Chloe Chang. <laughs> Justin Day. William Dow. Michelle To. Evelyn Tran. Emily Tran. Brandon Tran. Eric Tran. Veronic Trin, <laughs> Negan Boo. <laughs> to present the award in the area of mathematics is the department coordinator, coordinator Mrs. Kathy Leojewski, and Mr. Brendan Wynn.
whose passion for the subject, organization, and expert instruction have given Maylie a better understanding of the mechanics of our world. During Club Rush, Maylie ran the Science Olympiad table, sharing her love of science and distributing flyers as the club's publicist. This scientific baron is proud to have earned her service board by volunteering at the Huntington Beach Public Library, where she helped patrons grow their own sustainable gardens. She volunteers with parks make lives better, an organization that strives to bring our community closer by planning events such as concerts, campouts, and movie nights locally at Miles Square Park. Bailey will stay in touch with the community as she'll move on to Cal State Long Beach, where she'll study aerospace engineering as she aims to either work for NASA or Boeing. Congratulations, Mount Bailey. You're so proud of you. Let's give these students a round of applause. <laughs> the coveted honor reserved for our, two, our top two students is the principal's trophy, the Prix de Nerf. This prize of honor represents four years of outstanding achievement and contribution to Fountain Valley High School. Here to announce the winners of the Prix de Nure is Mr. Paul Lopez. It gives me great pleasure, a great deal of pleasure, to introduce our 2022 Prix de Nures. Kate You've seen her on stage quite a bit this evening. In addition to winning the language arts coronets, Kate was nominated in publications, Spanish, and math, and she was even a finalist in history. Named to the Sunset Conference All-Academic Team, this four-year varsity swimmer excels at academics and athletics, and she's passing on her skills to the next generation as a Green Book, Green Book, Green Book swim coach. The thrill of academic exploration thrills Kate to her core and thrills her, fuels her work as a student. Ever curious? Kate makes interdisciplinary connections that take her understanding to new heights. For example, applying what she learned about identifying biases in AP stats aided her ability to interpret polls in AP government, as well as assessing the reliability of the data she uses for Baron Banner. The creative lens she applied when shaping a piece for ceramics enhances the sense of perception when crafting a short story or a persuasive essay. It's all connected, you see. Kate sees. And that is why we celebrate her as a 2022 Friedenjahr. Congratulations. <laughs> Spanish. 
His achievement is truly extraordinary. On campus, Brandon's leadership is everywhere. He's the secretary of the Model United Nations team and president of both Science Olympiad and Badminton Club. Brandon is a reflective student whose time management skills are second to none, which is probably how he makes it look easy somehow, balancing badminton team, chess club, MUN, and his award-winning creative writing. And yet, for Brandon, the biggest thrill is just knowing that he can make the day a little brighter for one of his fellow parents. Brandon embodies the all-around academic and personal excellence of the Creedon Yarm. Congratulations, Brandon. I'd like to pay special recognition to those whose efforts have made this evening's awards presentation possible. First, let's give a round of applause to the students who have been honored this evening. <laughs> Coronets would never be a success without the fantastic efforts of the Fountain Valley High School Instrumental Coronet Band. appreciate the untiring efforts of our FEHS ASB escorts. I would like to thank our producer, Mrs. Annalise Hatchery. Also, thank you to Ms. Kirsty Hunkel, our coordinates coordinator, and Mrs. Sharon Tate, Ms. Laura Smith, and Ms. Valerie Kearney, our Coronet's support providers. 